Are you tired of your old PC case? Bored with a plain front panel design? We've got an exclusive case review on the MSI Gungnir 100. I'm Rick at Techspin and we've got exciting contests monthly now with our Drive to 5 giveaways. Be sure to connect with us on social media and get the latest reviews by clicking that subscribe button below and that bell icon with new content weekly. Thanks to a collaboration with MSI on a 5 GHz overclocking guide video, I had the brand new Gungnir case in the studio and was able to test it out and complete a full install in it. MSI has just entered into the DIY case market following their MAG Pylon and MAG Bunker cases and now the MPG Gungnir 100 will add to their selection. With cases that come through for testing, what I look for is quality construction, good filtered airflow, and ease of assembly and accessibility. And of course, is it worth your money? Let's find out. The Enermax Liquid Fusion all-in-one cooler makes your case stand out with addressable RGB lights. The CPU pump has a stunning flow indicator visible through the see-through cover and frosted ring illumination on the fans mounted to a 240 mil rad. Check out the Liquid Fusion down below. This MSI MPG Gungnir 100 should be the final release version. Uh, no price yet, but we'll update the description below with the price and affiliate links when it becomes available online. The Gungnir 100 is a bold statement from MSI, with subtle RGB front accents along with a tempered glass side. There's an ARGB fan pre-installed in the back and that's hooked up to an 8-port RGB fan hub. The fan hub supports MSI's Mystic Lite RGB software. The full tower Gungnir measures 51cm deep by 23 wide and 53 high and handles up to 40cm VGA cards and 170mm CPU coolers. For motherboards, the Gungnir can take EATX boards up to 272mm, ATX, MATX, and Mini ATX boards. It has mounts for two 3.5-inch hard drives or SSDs, plus space for four more SSDs. Up top, there is room for a 360mm rad, and the front intake has three black fans installed inside the front cover, which has the RGB accents at the top and bottom. The top front triangle can be replaced with your own 3D printed design, which can be enhanced with the RGB lighting there. And the Gungnir 100 has seven spots where fans can be mounted to provide very good filtered intake airflow. The right side of the case is one solid piece that, like the tempered glass side, sits on the feet for easy installation. I like the venting slats up front. Sideswipe keeps the red and black theme as we check the top panel, which has side vents to exhaust the three fan spots ending in the front I.O. panel and MSI logo. Left to right we have an edge lit power button, hard drive access light, two USB 3.0 connectors, HD audio ports, and the LED or reset switch. Removing the right side, there's a little wiring from the extra Corsair LED strips, and we can see the two removable SSD trays on the left. At the top, there's two rubber grommets for wires and the RGB fan hub. MSI's stamped cover sits next to the wide motherboard cutout for easy cooler installation. Removing the three screws on the cover, we can reveal the four Velcro cable ties, which you'll need in order to strap down the cables enough to fit them inside. If you're doing RGB wiring, the double wiring will create a jumble if you try to fit that all in, so plan accordingly. The PSU area takes normal sized power supplies, but they just barely squeeze in here, as the dual hard drive caddy sits a bit closer than necessary. The drive caddy trays are well built and slide out easily. Removing the top of the Gungnir 100, we see the mounting spots for top mounted radiators. Specs say that you can mount 240, 280 or 360 mil rads here. Our Corsair Hydro Series H115i 280mm rad you'll see later couldn't reach the rear holes without blocking the 8 pin ATX wiring, so we also used a couple of lattice holes to mount it. And on the rear is the pre-installed 120mm ARGB fan supplied by MSI and this spot can also take 140mm fans. The motherboard tray area has supports for EATX, ATX and smaller boards, with a really spacious interior, and the angular rubber grommet design is well done. On top of the PSU cover there are spots for dual SSDs with an easy thumb screw to secure the brackets on the case. And a view of the three black air intake fans which come pre-installed behind the front grille for lots of fresh air to feed your case. At the top there's a nice cable pass-through, a good design. Some other case grommets are a bit wide in the center, but these ones do a good job of closing the holes in my opinion. The bottom front has room for air intake, and as we go to the back, there's an air filter for the power supply. 
For cleaning, it slides out pretty easily. So removing the front panel, there's the three 120mm intake fans. And at the bottom is the RGB strip which illuminates the clear triangular band at the bottom of the front panel, which is on the right. One nice surprise is that the front panel has dual filters on either side of the intake slats. A small detail, but very appreciated. Removal and installation of the tempered glass was very easy because the feet extend out and support the glass during installation. Reassembled, we can see the RGB accent at the front top, which looks really great. This is the piece you can 3D print to customize. Lighting is controlled by the RGB hub, and you can change modes with a reset button. The front bottom accent is synced to the top, though the aftermarket Corsair RGB strips are using their own separate controller, and I didn't have enough time to find a way to sync them up. Please take a moment to like this video, and if you like what you see, then please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. Building in this case went fairly smoothly. We used the MSI MEG ACE Z390 motherboard with our i9 9900K CPU. The ACE Z390's Infinity Mirror Chase is on the left, complementing the 32 gigs of XPG D41 RGB DDR4 that ADATA kindly lent us for this build. System drive is a Samsung 960 EVO 1TB M.2 drive with cooling done by the Corsair H115i 280mm RAD. And graphics are handled by an MSI GeForce RTX 2070 Gaming Z 8GB with power supplied by the Corsair RM850X. The Corsair RGB strips go around the inside lip of the case, and the magnetized backing holds them in place securely. There's just enough room to fit them around the whole perimeter. I'm liking the backplate on the RTX 2070 here. So the MSI MPG Gungnir 100 has a good design with some nice RGB accents, going for a more subtle style, and giving a high-end look. The large interior made insulation easy and with good airflow and triple fan intake and exhaust possibilities, we'll be giving it a Techspin Gold Award. Great styling, filtered air intake, USB 3 ports, case RGB accents with an RGB fan and controller that syncs with Mystic Light software, this is a really great combination of features. There are a couple of points though. With power and RGB wiring hooked up, it's a little tricky to put the MSI stamp metal cover back on and you'll need some patience. An extra centimeter or a pressed out square in the side panel would have made replacing the side easier. A small issue I mentioned with the Corsair's H115i 280mm rad, it can certainly mount at the top, though the ATX wiring won't be able to fit through the grommet as it will get blocked if the rad is fully to the back. Still mounts fine using the lattice holes up top though. And the last thing that could use a little improvement, the space for the power supply is cramped. To access this fully modular Corsair RM850X, I had to unscrew it and turn it sideways. Moving the hard drive caddy forward would have made cable management much easier. Or another easy solution to this would be an outside PSU mounting plate attached to the PSU, which one could slide into the case and screw onto the body. One piece of metal, easy fix. The build in this Gungnir 100 was done in preparation for testing and overclocking to five gigahertz for our overclocking to five gigahertz guide that we worked on with MSI Gaming. Please have a quick look at our guide, which I'll put up the link for you here. I'm told the Gungnir 100 will be out soon and hopefully we can update the description below with the price when it becomes available. If you want to support us here at Techspin, please use our affiliate links if you decide to buy. It'll help us out here with no extra cost to you. Overall, we really like this case and features and if you have a little patience for cable management, it'll be perfect for your next build and make a subtle yet bold statement. Thanks again to MSI for allowing this exclusive review on their brand new case. Now I'll turn this over to you guys to hear your ideas. What do you think of MSI's new Gungnir case? And what features are you looking for in a new case? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to connect with us online. Join us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all at Techspin Review. What case are you using right now for your current rig? Is there one that you're looking at buying? And if you find a good deal on Amazon or eBay, please let us and our viewers know, that'd be great. If this review was informative or gave you some ideas, we'd appreciate you mashing that thumbs up button or tell us how we could improve for next time. To see more videos like this, then please do subscribe for new content and be sure to click that bell icon to get notified when we put up a new video. We check the comments, so if you have a question or if we miss something, then please do tell us down below. And we always like to hear your ideas for episodes, so let us know what you'd like to see next. We really appreciate you watching this far. Thanks for your time and we'll see you on the next. Bye for now.